Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Over the last several weeks, we've been looking at what it looks like for a follower of Jesus to follow Jesus. We've been looking at some commandments from the New Testament and talking about how to pl apply them to our lives. Today, the apostle who wrote Hebrews writes to us today in Hebrews 10.35 and he has a word of encouragement for those of you who are walking through difficult situations in your life. Where do you turn and how do you handle those situations? Well, the apostle writes this beginning in verse 32. Think back on those early days when you first learned about Christ. Remember how you remained faithful, even though it meant terrible suffering. Sometimes you were exposed to public ridicule and you were beaten, and sometimes you helped others who were suffering the same things. You suffered along with those who, weren't, who were thrown into jail, and when all, who, uh, all you owned was taken from you, you accepted that with joy. You knew there were better things waiting for you that will last forever. So do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will. Don't throw away your confidence that has great reward. Do you know that followers of Jesus can experience suffering and throw away their confidence. They can get all wrapped up in the trial or tribulation that they're facing. They can all get all focused on their hard time and lose their confidence in God. When they lose their confidence in God, they become a shell of what they used to be. Let me encourage you, whatever troubles you're facing, whatever suffering you've endured, remember this. If you've suffered for the sake of Christ, if you've suffered and you're speaking truth to other people and living out your faith, God sees you and God's going to reward you and God's going to bless you. Don't throw away your confidence because it has great reward. The more confident that you are as a follower of Jesus, the more like Job you become during your suffering, the more other people are going to be blessed and others will be able to look to you as a source of encouragement and as a source of strength and even as a source of inspiration to follow God more closely. David was known in scripture as a man after God's own heart. Even when he endured suffering, he was known as a person that sought after God. I want to encourage you, no matter what you're facing, Put your confidence in God. Trust in Him. And as you trust in Him, you'll bless others. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.